15 year old Ariel Kimbo and her siblings are just like any youngsters. They like playing by the pool, skateboarding, and of course, getting online. It gives me something to do. And these days, there are a host of social networking websites where teens can catch up with other teens. Only problem, authorities say, the internet is becoming a playground for predators. You can hide behind the internet, you can make up whatever you want to make up, your age, your name, your picture, anything you want to make up, you know, because you're hiding behind that screen. Which could lead a teen to think they're chatting with someone their own age when they're really making friends with an adult stranger. An adult stranger only a mouse click away. Ariel's mother found out the hard way. She was on a site and actually there was, I don't know who it was on the other end, um, but this, this gentleman or this guy, whoever it was, they were talking inappropriately to her uh, on, through email. Since that day, Charlotte Hammond closely monitors what sites her children log on to and who's typing back. This is someone that she had, she didn't know. And it just, she just didn't know. She didn't know what she was getting herself into. Don't think that, well, my kid won't be talking to somebody, you know, that they don't need to be talked to through a chat room because it happens. It happens to good people. Um, could happen to anybody. It's why the Faulkner County Sheriff's Office is fighting back. This year, the office launched a special unit targeting sexual predators hiding on the internet. It means long, odd hours to catch them in the act. Some of these people sleep in during the day and they get up and stay up way late in the night. Uh, getting on the internet, so that's what we have to do. Since January, Faulkner deputies have investigated at least 10 cases and made half a dozen arrests, mostly predators involved with child pornography. I know that it's out there. I mean, there are people that want to do crazy things to children. Now Hammond won't allow her children to visit many popular social networking sites, and the family computer is always in plain view. Her nine-year-old understands why. That stranger will come up to that teenager's house, and that's kind of scary, too. As far as my children are concerned, I'm a little bit more cautious. And Lieutenant Rice has a message of caution for those praying behind your child's computer screen. What would you tell the predators out there who are lurking at this very minute online? I would tell them that keep doing it. I mean, if you keep doing it, we know who you are. We're going to find out who you are. Uh, you can't have behind the computer. It's all out there, and you'll be next, and we'll be knocking on your door tomorrow. Ready to put the offender hiding behind the screen behind bars. Brent Solomon, Fox 16 News.